What is dividing the vacuum? How does it divide? What is its structure? How does it become coherent? Is there a fundamental geometry that defines it all? While searching for this fundamental structure of the vacuum in physics and mathematical equations, Haramain discovered geometrical knowledge in other curious places, ancient text and traditions. Unknown to him at the time, many famous physicists found supporting data from historical manuscripts, including the founder of modern physical science, Isaac Newton. And German astronomer Johannes Kepler used geometrical concepts often found in ancient knowledge to elaborate the mechanics of our solar system. I looked at various traditions around the world, the Mayan, the Incas, the Egyptian, and I found that many of them, uh, including the Chinese, the Japanese, and so on, had made very geometric uh, structures all around the world. One of them is Teotihuacan, amazing complex north of Mexico City that included the Sun Pyramid, the Moon Pyramid, the Way of the Dead, and many complex structures all around it. I found that a survey had been done by an American engineer called Hugh Holliston Jr. He had spent 20 years mapping out the relationship of all these buildings to each other. And as he did, he found that there was some fundamental mathematical constant that were involved. I had already come up th with the concept that a tetrahedron would be involved in the structure of the vacuum since it's the most stable of the platonic solids. But what you, Hollison Jr., found is that not only did this ancient complex portray the movement of the planets and their orbits relative to our sun, but as well had a fundamental mathematical constant that related a tetrahedron to a sphere. Why would the ancient Mayans uh, represent this very specific relationship between a tetrahedron and a sphere? I thought maybe, just maybe, they were trying to deliver a message throughout the ages about the importance of that relationship the structure of the vacuum as a tetrahedral structure and the sphere as the boundary condition that divided the space. I looked into it deeper and I found that not only these mathematics were portrayed in the relationship of the buildings in that complex, but that the complex itself positioned on the surface of the earth mapped the relationship of a tetrahedron in a sphere. I thought it was very significant and it wasn't a coincidence. <laughs>